Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Bassa, and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We start with Joao Felix, as the Barcelona forward is reportedly at risk of losing starting spot once key midfielder is back. We are going to discuss more on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about um, former Barca manager and of course former Villarreal manager Kike Setien, who have criticized Chavis Barcelona, saying that not in a very inspiring moment. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona have been recently boosted by the return of star midfielder Pedri, who notably started his first game in three months against Alaves this past weekend. As we now brace ourselves for yet another international break, it should give another midfielder, Frankie de Jong, some valuable time to recover and get back to full fitness. Reports suggest that de Jong could be back into action by November end, which is a major positive for Xavi Hernandez. The return of Frankie de Jong will open up many tactical options for coach Xavi Hernandez, one of which is to deploy a four-man midfield unit. Such a strategy was critical in helping Barcelona dominate La Liga last season and eventually win the title. This season, however, Barcelona have been unable to utilize the formula, largely due to the injury problems so far this season. But with the young and Pedri returning, Xavi will have the option to operate a four-man midfield unit, which in turn would restrict the number of attackers for Barcelona. Should Xavi consider this change in setup, one of the attackers who could potentially lose his place in the starting eleven is Joao Felix, according to AS. The Portuguese international has had a decent start in his Barca career, but... Uh, his early season play has died down and the forward has not scored in any of the last 11 games. Given that Robert Lewandowski is a guaranteed starter, Xavi might consider rotating things around for the other available attacking position. As a result, Joao Felix stands to lose his place in the starting 11, especially if his scoring rot continues in the coming weeks. It has not been pleasing at all the way Joao Felix have been playing recently. And I mean, quite surprising because the way Joao Felix started his Barca career was outstanding. Many Barca fans started falling in love with him and the way he played. I mean, but I don't know what happened. Felix looks like a shadow of his former self. You know, having scored a goal for the last 11 games is quite remarkable and very disappointing. Quite disappointing. Because now we are talking about Barca not scoring goals. Those all these goal scoring drought for the team as a whole. As a result of these players who are not scoring. Their job is to be there to score, but they have not been scoring. And you not expect a player who will play for eleven, in fact, who will start games, nearly all the games he starts matches, but look at the kind of numbers he's put in. Can't even score for the last eleven games. It's quite disappointing, to be honest. Quite disappointing. You know. So he needs to up his game because this report is saying that if Frankie de Jong returns from an injury, there is a very mighty risk that, you know, Joao Felix might lose the spot. And you know what that means. Javi, who sometimes even do but guesswork in terms of his tactics, might now go back to that four-man midfield system. We know Javi had been using that quite a lot before Joao Felix came from loan, you know, earlier in the season. Javi was mostly using that four-man midfield, using a false winger, like maybe Pedri or Gavi, who we'll see them playing as a false left wing, of course, then just two attackers in that lineup. So this report is saying that Javi might still go back to that system or that tactical setup. And if he's going there, then automatically Joao Felix will be sacrificed. And especially the reason that Joao Felix has not been at the best, he has not been playing well, and that might be a very, very... Uh, Big reason why Xavi might go back to that system. 
except otherwise you know we see joao felix improving his game big time then he might stand a chance to influence xavi to continue with the normal 4 3 3 system with three attackers up front then on to the next story of discussion former barca manager kike setiet has said that the blaugrana still owe him on paid pay on paid payments and even though it's been three years since he last managed the team from catalonia they will indeed end up paying the 65 year old yesterday morning a trilateral meeting took place involving coaches the federation the referees to assess the current state of affairs in spanish football the focus of the meeting was to discuss coach settlements and the individuals responsible for signing them although no concrete resolutions were reached why the majority of la liga coaches participated notably absences included manuel pellegrini Emmanuel Iguazil and Rafa Benitez, who opted not to attend. Among the attendees, including Setien, the meeting was chaired by either Real Madrid manager Carlo Anzalotti or Xavi, both of whom expressed unity with dismissed coaches who have not um, who have yet to be received their severance pay. Speaking in an interview with El Languero, the with Manu Carreno. Setien discussed or addressed his feud with Barcelona, where he explained why he was forced to take the Blaugranas to court. In principle, I was not going to go to this, to this meeting. In the end, you have no choice but to go to court. Five days before the trial, I was able to arrange an, arrange an agreement for Barcelona. Sixteen months later, we reached an agreement, but they told me to forgive them money, and I, and I was not willing. They were strictly complying with the payments, but they will finish paying me three years after having coached Barca. Um, Setien was dismissed by Villarreal in early September this year, but he did square off Bas um, against Barca in August in a game that ended 4-3 in favor of Barcelona. When asked about his take on Xavi's current Barca squad, he said, I've, I always like Barcelona's approach. It's true that they are not in a good moment right now, and they are not in a very inspiring moment. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. <music>